You know, if you were to talk to an astronomer, professional amateur, they're generally opposed to this light pollution because it's their livelihood, their passion um, that's being intruded upon by the accidental spread of, of artificial light. But I think for just the regular person, there's also this important cultural connection. You know, who doesn't like to go out into the, the wild, dark places that are still left and enjoy the beauty of a nighttime sky? It's been a tradition for thousands of years where the constellations in the sky are connected to important cultural stories. And of course, we are most familiar with the Greek and Roman stories, but American Indians, Chinese, people all over the globe had the important stories they told uh, in the sky. A lot of people love the constellation stories. They love the mythology of the nighttime sky. And when some of the key stars are missing, it doesn't look like this gigantic monster that was designed to keep Orion on the move so he would no longer be able to kill other animals. When you can't see the pinchers of Scorpius, how then does it look like a scorpion? And these stories, whether they're Greek or Chinese or American Indians, they've been with us on this planet for two, three, four thousand years in some places. They intentionally put them in the sky knowing that because everybody would always be able to see those stars, that they would keep saying those names and by extension their stories would be guaranteed immortality. Unfortunately, as cultures die off, so too do their stories. A critical question remains, what has the best chance of immortalizing these stories? Uh, the, the written word? or the authentic visual aids, the, the, the very stars themselves. It's very difficult to protect the night sky, even in a national park where all their rules and regulations, they only begin and end at the park boundaries, and of course you can't fence out that light pollution. As a dark ranger, I think I spend less time actually studying the night sky compared to the amount of time I spend trying to figure out the psychology that makes people reluctant to do a better job of managing their light. If we don't start taking light pollution seriously, we're going to kill off those last few remaining star stories. When those key visual aids are no longer in the sky, we lose the connection uh, to all the humanity that has gone before. Another reason to be concerned about protecting natural darkness.